In this video, I will show you how to find sample proportion, margin of error, and sample size when we are given confidence interval. For sample proportion p hat, we have this formula here, which is lower boundary L plus upper boundary U divided by 2. So, here our lower boundary is this 0 0.3198 and our upper boundary is this 0 0.4812. So, substituting the value into this formula here, we get 0 0.3198 plus 0 0.4812 divided by 2. So, when we add these two numbers and divide by 2, we get 0 0.4005. So, this is our p hat, which is a sample proportion. Now, let's find margin of error, and this is the formula for margin of error, which is upper value minus lower value divided by 2. So, looking at this interval here, we know this is our upper value. This is our lower value. So, let's substitute upper value and lower value in our formula. We get 0 0.48 one two minus our lower value is 0 0.3198 divided by 2. When we subtract this two number and divide that by 2 we get e equals to 0 0.0807. So this is our margin of error. Now, let's find sample size. We have this formula here for sample size. We know our p hat is this 0 0.4005 and our e is margin of error, which is this 0 0.0807 and z alpha by 2, this one here is a critical value. So, z alpha by 2 for 95% is 1.96. Now, once we know p hat, e, and z alpha by 2, all we need to do is substitute those values in this formula. So, we get our p hat is 0 0.4005, minus 0 0.4005, z alpha by 2 is 1.96, and our E is 0 0.0807 e square. So this whole thing comes out to be 141.627. And whenever we are finding sample size or yen, we will always round up. So this is approximately equal to 142. So that is our sample size. And I have listed the answer for sample proportion, margin of error, and sample size on this slide here. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe our channel. We will be bringing more and more videos on variety of topics.